Yeah. A uh, very good evening, one and all. So let's get started with the introduction to platform. But before I start, I really want this to be a, a interactive session. So I will be, you know, asking you questions in and out the presentation. So you can use the chat box and feel free to be as interactive as we can. So we can take it ahead like that. So. Before I start, I just want to understand how my audience are. Have you heard about the term 3D experience platform before? Have you used any of the apps, any of the roles of platform before? If yes, drop in yes into the chat box. If no, no worries, drop in no. Mm -hmm. So I could see a good amount of response. Yes, no, yes, great. Pranav has used it. Okay, good. So, no worries. This session or a one hour webinar will take you through the basics of what is about platform, what is 3D experience, why all the companies are moving towards cloud, what is the importance of cloud, and we can take it ahead. So, without further ado, let me just introduce myself. My name is Nikhil Nakare currently working in India CRE as an industry process consultant working for the 3D experience works portfolio. So in this session, we are going to give you a brief about how to get started with the basics of platform, how to activate your user ID, how to basically set up your dashboards and some terms here and that we're going to see. So we don't need further ado, let's get started. So here comes our today's agenda the basic introduction of the platform, which will then be driven across the platform activation process. How do you sign up on the platform, register yourself, some getting started, some school of thoughts about getting started things, deep diving into some of the platform apps. And of course, as a giveaway, I always provide my audience some training and learning resources so you can help yourself with when you sit back and try to practice this at your home. And at the last, we will, of course, have a Q&A session so that all of your queries and your doubts get clear. We will do a little bit deep dive into few of the platform application. But please remember, friends, although in this one hour session, we cannot explain all the apps, but probably I will be scratching the surface of the few most important apps that you will be using when you are on the experience platform day in and day out. So apart from this, I will also talk about the learning resource, as I mentioned, and the overall process. And uh, moving ahead, my first question here happens to be is very simple. How do you get an access to the 3D experience platform? Well, I will be showcasing you a lot of stuff today, which will generally arouse a sense of curiosity, but how to get an access. So here comes the catch. We have after the competition, in the year 2023 whose registrations are open now it's a national competition organized in india and this year it happens to be the 13th edition of the nationwide product design contest for all the students in india who are currently undergoing or having their bachelor's degree in any of the engineering fields this competition is sponsored by and organized by Desu System SolidWorks. And just a few school of thoughts, since its inception in 2011, more than 25,000 students have participated from all over India. So if you want to have an introduction, the basic objective about launching Akruti was to provide students a platform to exhibit their creativity, innovative approaches, and engineers engineering skill so that you can have uh, later, an exposure to the latest in the tech and bridge between the academia and the industry. So it also increases the awareness about the sustainability across product design. And of course, the top teams get an opportunity to present their projects to their juries and various industries and academia specialists from the system. So here are the four themes in front of you. Go ahead and register yourself and get an access to 3D experience platform and 3D experience SolidWorks in general, where you can also start and start your design and submit and participate actively in the competition. 
so let me just drop the registration link in front in the chat box so here is the registration link feel free to register out and check what's akruti having for you so how to win this contest the registration process is very simple very straightforward and self explanatory you have to register with your dream and your theme product idea follow the contestant timelines and guidelines and remember the registration closes on 31st may so please hurry up register make form a team and go ahead with this competition you can submit your initial design concepts start working on your product line and the designs submit your final product design to qualify in the zonal rounds which is going to be like the initials and the zonals and the, the submitted final product designs will undergo evaluation based on judging criteria and the jury votes and the online zonal contest will be conducted for the shortlisted teams across india well the semi finalists from the zonal rounds will be considered or called for the presentation in person these teams will present the product design in front of eminent jury members from industry and academia and the top semi finalist will qualify for after the 2023 finally now the selected teams will be called for the final competition at pune campus desu systems in november apparently 2023 then they will present the ideas to the eminent juries from industries the specialist of the technologies and the social sectors and we will then have a amor ceremony so go ahead and register yourself and get an access to 3d experience platform as well so what is this 3d experience platform all about i still remember the days when we were used to be having different products to serve different purposes like like just to make a phone call we used to have a mobile phone typically the old school mobile phone which we have pretty much used for taking a picture we used to have a digital camera for scanning a document we used to have a scanner so which means for doing each and every activity we used to have different products so for every activity in our personal lives we used to have different products but now we have a platform like android or ios so wherein we can have all these products available as applications so if i take that analogy similarly that fits totally for the 3d experience platform as well so to give and define it properly it's a business experience platform that provides solution for various departments in a manufacturing and design organization but not limiting it to them so whether it is engineering marketing procurement or manufacturing we have the applications which are available for all of the departments in an organization so what it does basically it brings people together by creating a complete collaborative environment it brings ideas whatever things you have in your mind you can add those things share with your peers in the form of communities so what are communities what is sharing all these things i will be taking care in the next half of the session but i am just getting in your just in case it also make sure that all your data is in the same and a single form with a single secure repository so that all you have is an access to the same source of truth and that is only the single source of truth which should be available to you and within the organization it basically gives you a solution to your engineering problems so it brings people ideas data solution in a single place in a digitally connected environment so you can also have social collaboration where you can create a social community for your organization probably maybe today you are using one or two kind of free experience platform users so you can also collaborate with them within or we who are not within the organization also we have a marketplace in which is another offering which is available to uh, all the 2d experience platform users that includes part supply which is our online content library it is completely sourceable library from where you can actually purchase or source outsource parts from the suppliers then comes make where you can offload manufacturing jobs then we have engineering service so we can also offer a engineering as a service as well marketplace is one of the key elements 
of the 3D experience platform. This platform is available on public cloud, which means there is no investment to be done by the customer or by the users or on the IT side and no investment on the server as well. So your hardware related issues are also minimum. So in a nutshell, this 3D experience platform as a business platform provides solution for your entire organization and an enterprise as a user level as well. So what are the building blocks of the platform? And I say 2D experience platform, it constitutes of five major things. Tools, apps, dashboards, collaboration, and marketplace. So moving ahead, let me talk about a few building blocks of this in detail. Since you uh, have already, many of you know platform, 2D experience platform a little bit before, you might have known or came across these terms. What are roles? What are apps? Have anyone heard about 2D experience roles? If yes, drop in yes in the chat box. How many of you heard about apps? Great. So, roles are actually licenses that will be designated and can be given to a specific users. Now, roles are nothing but having a bundle of application in between them, inside them. So applications are the actual tool that you are going to use day in and day out. For example, we used to have a role called Collaborative Business Innovator, which is now called as 3D Swimmer. So inside 3D Swimmer, there are 18 apps which are available. And you can access, when you have access to a role, you can have an access to an app as well. Similarly, Collaborative Industry Innovator is a role that contains 15 such apps. Each app serves a specific kind of work, a specific purpose like conversation, collaboration, team management, product design, and so on. So there are two major types of applications when we deal with. One is a web app or what we call generally as a cloud app. And the second is nothing but a native app. You can use cloud app by using any browser like Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, etc. Where you need to have a specific download file or a local installation or a kind of local installation in your personal computer for a native app. Then comes very important is a dashboard. So dashboard is basically a placeholder where you can strategically place your application and you can use those applications within the dashboard in and out. On a web browser, you create dashboard and these dashboards can be personal Sir, uh, your voice is not audible. Okay, I think he's a, he has some issues with the network. And uh, I need to mention some of the things today. Uh, like many of them have some questions about Accurate 2023, right? So I have seen uh, someone asking about the how we can participate in the event. So we have a ses session tomorrow, uh, tomorrow 11 a.m around India. So we will be having the Akruti organizers. So they will be presenting you and uh, sorting out your queries and they will uh, show you the way in which you can register for the event. They will also explain about the themes in which you can participate and the problem statements examples for you. 
so join us today, tomorrow i will also i will also be sharing the link in the whatsapp group and uh, please join with that link so whoever has in joined the whatsapp link i will share now and uh, if you have any questions also you can ask now uh, up till uh, the presenter will be joining again yeah i got a little internet issue so i'm back yes, again sir. yeah sorry for the delay yeah yeah is my screen again visible yeah it's visible sir okay great yeah so did you happen to hear about the roles the apps the basics of dashboards and collaboration things uh up up to dashboard you have uh, we have here goes so you can start with the dashboard again okay so just to give again few insights about dashboards so dashboards are nothing but a place where you can strategically place your apps so the apps you will be utilizing are going to be placed in dashboards and this will all happen in a web browser itself so on a web browser you will create dashboards and these dashboards can be personal team dashboards and whatever dashboards you create can be share with your other team members as well so in fact there are some pre loaded dashboards also when you sign up on the twidi experience platform i will be having a deep dive on them of course in the later part but we yes we do have a specific industry specific dashboards which we can also share with you then comes uh, on the twidi experience platform something which is very important called the marketplace now as i mentioned before we have marketplace where you can manufacture your product get part from the supplier and get engineering as a service as well so these are the services which are available to our our uh, free experience platform uh, users a little bit about collaboration as i mentioned so we to offer communities now communities play an important part of collaboration so what are these communities all about so communities are groups which we can create like messaging applications just like whatsapp facebook or instagram so you can create pages or groups in similar fashion we can create communities inside the twitter experience platform as well this communities can be based on team based on a department and this could be even enterprise wide communities as well so you can do a lot of interaction in the community i will also have a deep dive on it later so what is a basic setup procedure we need to follow basically there you will be having a platform invitation link when you let's say participate in an akuti competition you will be getting an invitation link where you have to sign in first if you are on the platform or if you have not signed into the platform you need to register yourself once you register the process you can have an access to a predefined dashboard which will be in front of you and you can invite your team members to the specific the experience platform and you can give them a user platform access as well then you can of course write and after the invitation is done you can download and install the 3d experience solid works applications as well so this is this was what a quick workflow about the platform activation or the setup process so a 3d passport is nothing but a login user id which will have a account uh the one who is not muted can you mute yourself hi sir i have muted everyone hi krishna can you mute the unmuted instrument yeah yeah sure thanks so yep a simple 3d passport creation process which will uh, create an account where you can register log in with your details and put your password as well so this will make uh, sure that you have a unique user id and a password which is every time required for you to sign in or log in into the platform so let's see what exactly this looks like so this is like a welcome page which we have for everyone who are new to to the experience platform this will be having a uh, shortcut option to open your solidworks connected application or x design application for parametric modeling which you might think to do this will also have 
or section of manage and collaborate which will be having few kick starting apps which you will be using inside the platform day in and day out and of course a uh, learning center where you can have some basics about the 3d experience how it works some go to tutorial videos which you can of course have an access to and then something on the public communities which i will be having a brief talk on now you can of course go to the welcome tour and have a welcome tour of this as well so a similar process which i am following here is having a login user id i think basically what i will do is i will register onto the 3 experience platform so the registration process is very simple what i can do is i will put my name my last name create a alpha numeric strong password and then select uh, again we define that password select a destination country where this platform is going to be used in my case it is india agree to the terms and condition and register now this process is as simple as that once you do a registration you will be having a welcome tour to the platform which you can probably skip for the time being and then you have a list of predefined dashboards with you so this was some pretty much the same way which i showcased you you will be having a welcome tour and uh, you can of course have getting started things like uh, introduction to 3d experience solidworks demo video which you can have it for the go so if you are new to 3d experience solidworks you can go watch the starting designing with 3d experience solidworks demo and this can clear out a lot of things and give you a curiosity to learn more so how do you do the installation of solidworks connected the basics of which are also mentioned on the first dashboard which is very familiar to you now so you can of course have a look at that as well so these are the basic and the initial steps which you need to follow when you are going or working on the 3d experience platform now let's have a look at the user experience and the user interface so as you can see guys on the top left corner you will be seeing a circular shape which we of a of a coordinate system kind of thing which we call it as a 3d compass the 3d compass provide access to complete roles solution portfolio and apps which are entitled to you so roles contains combination of apps as i mentioned so all will be embedded inside the compass so you can hover around the compass click on the compass and get an access to those like if i mention about roles you have 3d creator roles which concerns x design apps x design is used to create parameter 3d models similarly we have x shape for organic modeling we see about this in the upcoming slides then we have 3d search which is used to search all kind of content on the platform the middle portion of the screen is the dashboard which contains 2d space app we can add tab similar to the browser perform different tasks on different apps at the same we can use multiple widget to simplify our data and also centralize and display it let's see the top right corner in detail the top right corner contains information about your profile notifications add share content communities and the help section as well so this was the basic intro to the user experience which you are going to have once you log into the platform so when i may go to the top right bar you can see the profile contains the information about you which is similar to other social media profiles which you can have you can control for your personal information you will get notifications if there is any update related to your work like any task you have been assigned on any notification command you can set up your preferences whether you need to have to see your notifications whether in a dashboard a tab or anything that has been added and shared with other other people in the platform now the next tab is the content tab the content tab is used to access your 3d experience and other drives at a fingertip then you have the community tab which will help you to access the 3d swim community be in touch with your team and to get in touch with them while you're working on projects basically after that we have the help section which contains the 3d experience user assistance to get support and user community so on let's move to a quick demonstration in each case so since i have already registered to the platform i will impute my login user id and password and 
that can get me into the platform. So as I click on the compass, I can see the bundle of roles and applications which are entitled to me. In the company side, I can see which how many amount of apps which we can also procure. So these are the three sections. So I will quickly close this and um, basically want to show you what are dashboards. So you can see the list of dashboards and which dashboard has been open as of now. So um, I can see on, I can click the left side, hand power icon, see the list of dashboards which are with me. I can click on the search tab and I can basically do any search inside the three search applications. Towards the right, I have the 6W tags. The 6W tags are a good way to search and filter out my content. And inside my profile, I can see uh, preferences, my profile, and also I can log out to the platform from here. As I mentioned before, the notifications will be giving you an access to notifications. And for the plus icon, you can add a tab, story, or a free dashboard. You can, of course, share a tab, a story, and the last will have a content tab where you can have an access to the topic, right? So, yeah, this was about the collaboration capabilities of the platform I mentioned. Inside the 3 swim communities, you see, like, we can video call, we can start messaging someone inside the organization. So, communities are great tools for social collaborations. So, this was about the basics of the platform and the things which you will be seeing when you have a first log in it. So, how to download and install the 3D experience SOLIDWORKS in this case? Once you have an access to the platform, go and search for SOLIDWORKS connected application. Click on update or install the application. Click on install now. If you have already installed, there will there might be a chance that you have an update to it. Since it's a 3D experience on cloud application, there will always be updates coming on. Once you install the updates and log in, you will be having access to the 3D experience or those connected application. Now, as a kickstarting guideline, you have two major roles with you. The 3D Swimmer role, which was previously been called as the Collaborative Business Innovator role. And second, the Collaborative Industry Innovator role. We'll see in details what is the importance of these roles and how they play the backbone of the 3D experience platform the basic prerequisite of uh, the roles which you need to use while you work on the platform as well. So the 3D Swimmer role contains this number of applications inside them and each application serves a specific purpose. So uh, since they are the prerequisites, since they are the basics, I would like to cover the basics of the 3D experience platform today. So you can see there are 3D dashboard, 3D drive, 3D play, 3D swim and so on. So the 3D Swimmer has this set of tools with them. Remember, it was priorly in called as the collaborative business innovator role. This role helps to establish social communities with your peers, with your like-minded individuals who are there on the 3D experience platform to share and experiment and innovate effectively. As we get familiar with the 3D dashboard, let's see 3D dashboard in details. You can create your personal and team dashboard within the 3D dashboard tool. Now, this 2D dashboard app is the real-time intelligence need to monitor everything that matters to you in your business. So, anything which you will be uploading, editing, kind of sharing is going to be uploaded or can be visible to your team members in real time. So, you can see everything what's happening all in one dashboard. So, user can customize their own dashboards in the way they would like to on the information and at the same time, they can share the same dashboard to within other individuals in the organization or in their team. So let's have a look at the three dashboard. I will click on the left hand side burger icon and click on the add option there. Or you can also see an add option which is present on the right hand side out there. And basically you get a chance to create a dashboard. So then you have two options, create an empty dashboard or create a dashboard from templates. So you can of course have a dashboard created from an existing template, which can help you get started. So as I input my name and description, a new user dashboard has been created and you can see it on the left hand side list. So as you can see, a dashboard now, which has been created is blank, which does not have any app embedded inside it. So I can create multiple tabs on the right and I can just drag and drop 
my widgets or apps into this dashboard as simple as that so are you with me till here now are you understanding what are dashboards how do you drag and drop apps or widgets into a dashboard inside the tab section yes or no in the chat box hello everyone great thank you for responding that means you're following me up so i will go with the same pace i will go with the same tune and let's see what we have next so just as i mentioned you about the tabs these are the several tabs which i have added into the dashboard if i go to the gear icon i can add a number of individual given access to these individuals inside this dashboard so you can see there are three level of access i can give a reader a contributor and a owner a uh, reader is someone who can just have this access like a read only mode he would not be able to edit the contents like the tabs or the widgets present in the dashboard but a contributor will be able to do a owner basically can delete or add new members to this dashboard so owner will be having the same rights what you have as of now so these are the three level of access you can get when you are on a dashboard so i will give a engineer and owner access to the dashboard as you can see he has been onboarded to the dashboard and he can have an access to all the things which uh that which are present on the dashboard as well so now we can go to 3d search so 3d search have the capability to search any kind of contents which are available on the platform which are embedded inside your platform like maybe that could be a cad file an excel file a user profile a 3d stream post and so on by using advanced capabilities of 6w tags but wait when i say 6w tags do you know the meaning of 6w tags yes 6w means what when where which who and how so these are specific tabs which are mentioned for an indented purpose like to organize and filter your content these tags helps you to filter out your content based on its metadata now that means you can search a single file with different available metadata related to that file as well now you are not restricted to file name only you can add on to this you can create your own tags as per your convenience and assign it to a file too that will help to help you to get files in an instant so basically when you see assign tags when you have created tags or once you start looking for the content inside tab you can easily recall them as and when needed so let's have an example of working on 6w tags so i will go to 3d search i will search across biodapt you can see on the left hand side the tabs are activated and i can easily filter the type of content i want based on the 6w tags so basically what who where so each tab specifies a specific purpose like what will be having the type of contents like you can see there are six type eight types of contents precisely on the left hand side of the screen here who will define what person i am i supposed to look for then what when where will define the specific self explanatory tags which will be present there so let's say i search for biodap i can uh, maybe also have of advanced search or i can also search inside that current tab which will only search within the biodap connect community in the page in front of you so this was about the basic of the 6w tags and the 3d search capabilities now when it comes to 3d swim well a very few of know and know what exactly is the meaning of 3d swim so 3d swim means see what you mean a social interaction platform community which is available for all the users on the platform which are having the 3d swimmer role with them so 3d swim enables you to create managed communities and start a social collaboration using multiple communities that is 3d swim unlocks the true power and capabilities of communities and of course the 3d express platform as well so with the 3d swim communities you can create an enterprise like a wide social interaction platform communities which will be similar to your facebook or linkedin but hey you can also do conversation which is on a productive side we can not only post image video file or messaging but we can also share ideas wikis video tasks questions survey forms 
and do a lot of other stuffs inside the 3D Swim community as well. We can keep a track of conversation going on the communities. By default, only the administrators of the platform can create communities, but the settings can be changed to allow members to create communities too. Let's see how to create communities and start a conversation with your co-workers or your uh, basic team members. So this is a simple way in which you can create communities, click on the communities tab, add community, and you can see you can have the list of options to create a post too. So let's say this is a high tech industry community. If you click on the add option, you can see what type of content you want to post. You can create communities based on team project, based on project based, or that can be of course a department based as well. So um, of course, in the 3D Swim, you also have a funnel idea generation. So what does this funnel idea generation do is you can create a pipeline of ideas. So you can have users assigned to that ideas and you can basically come and contribute to individually and you can the user or the owner of that idea pipeline can also have an access to the list of responses which are given by the users and he can track them out. So this is an example of organizing tasks and assigning tasks, organizing surveys of ideas on the communities. So simple way in which you can create community is search for the 3D Swim app, drag and drop the widget inside a dashboard, expand it, click on the community section, you can search for the communities. Well, I have to add it now. So I can go click on create a community, select a suitable title, add a description, and yep, the community is been created. So you will redirect to showcase some additional settings like whether it's a private, secret, or a public community. You can of course have some additional settings being applied, and once they are done, you are good to go. So user community has been created. And now you can add members to a particular community. Of course, you can have a owner, a an author, and a contributor as the three respective privileges rights for the members within a community. So you can add comments, you can share images, you can basically tag your team members, your colleagues, your peers inside a community, and you can share your post, you can have a video call, a conference call, share your screen, and organize content inside the community. So this was the basics of using communities within the 3D Experience platform. Now, whenever I remember, I have a question. So what do we use to open an image file? So we normally use a image viewer. For a PDF file, you may be using an Adobe Reader or a browser. For a 3D model, you could be using a a particular CAD tool, like if it's a SOLIDWORKS model, you can, or a drawing, can use e-drawings, right? But that means in and out, you need a separate software to do each of these tasks. In very basic terms, 3D play is nothing but uh, under one roof stuff, which can allow you to open all this type of content inside a web browser whether it be an image, a PDF, a 3D model, at a single place, you can use 3D Play to open it up. But 3D Play can also be used to do design review with markup, quick measurement, add text, notation, annotations, as well as, as well as you can share it with your peers. At the same time, we can do sections, explore view of an assembly, everything which is possible in 3D Play. So whether you are working for a, on a 3D model and you want to give it out for manufacturing and just want to have a quick interference check, you can add quick 3D markups inside 3D Play, everything embedded inside a web browser. This will allow you to not only share itself the markup inside a community, but also allow members to collaborate on the same perspective. So I have dragged and drop a model inside 3D Play. I can basically zoom, rotate, and have an exploded view as well. I can also have a section view of the same. I can have different views of the model, 
height and height components. Section view is also possible. Inside the tools section, if I click on the edit section, I can have a markup of the files as well. I can quickly add annotations. Place, drag and place it over the place and screen of my intent. Click on the tick option and I can share it with the other users inside a community. So we can basically publish it to a 3D Swim community as well. So once they see inside a community, hey, there is a update needed. So your peers can work upon them and they can get the things resolved at a go. So we can assemble in exploded view, we can hide and hide parts, you can see a section view, you can add mark and text. You can also annotate a file and share it in the 3D screen. So these are the capabilities of the 3D application as well. Now let's have a look at Matrix Reader, one of the best tools which we have inside the 3D Experience platform. A quick note here is Matrix Reader or a feed reader, which is used to create a graphical representation of your data. That is data analytics and to get started with the latest in the news or the latest in the things which are happening in the market. With the help of Matrix Reader, we can create a graphical representation or a view of a numerical data. In a single tab, we can create all information regarding the revenue generated, market presence, brand market share, operating margin, net profit margin, etc. So this is pretty much for the users which are uh, more or less uh, like uh, working on the sales perspective, those who need the change uh, in any similar things or contents in their respective fields. You can see you have the analytics tab where you can add a few more widgets to get more information about the industrial applications too. So let's see the collaborative industry innovator, the second backbone of the 3D experience platform and the second prerequisite which you need inside the platform as well. This role is very helpful for enterprises to push their product, uh, kind of a product information, um, which can they they can innovate and time to time to market by enabling data sharing and collaboration in real time. So you can see some fundamental applications of the widgets which are present inside this role are three really space, bookmark editor, collaborative task, issue management. And these are the fundamental tools which I would like to explore in today's session. So what is a 3D space? A 3D space is nothing but a PLM space which you will be having. Today's challenge for organizations is to centralize and make sure they have their data in a single place. I say data, whether it be CAD or non-CAD data. With 3D space, we can store all kinds of contents on a centralized collaboration space. As the name suggests, it's a space where we can work collaboratively on a project. To collaborate, you can invite people, you can create different collaborative spaces, as well as content type and collaboration needs. You can manage content privileges and user rights, like as I mentioned before, reader, contributor, author, leader, and owner, etc. So how do you create collaborative spaces? Very simple. You have to go to 3D Space Tool, Click on the drop down option to create new collaborative space. Make sure that you correctly mark the visibility, whether it's private, whether it is protected, or whether it is public. Select a family like design and standard, and you are good to go. Your collaborative space is been created. Second, very important thing comes is the collaborative task. Now, tasks are very important uh, part of the platform when it comes. Um, um, when it comes to collaboration, it is kind of a simplified Kanban board on web apps. So you can collaborate on tasks. You can basically create tasks you, and you can tag your members, assign it to a person, define the priority of the task and a start and a deadline as well. At the same time, you can add attachment, which is required to start work on a particular project. Once you create a start, the assigned person gets a notification on web as well as an email too, based on the things which you have set on priority. You can assign tasks by using Vido, Project Planner, and Project Manager, which are additional roles which are present inside the free experience platform. In this way, it is very helpful for managing and assigning the task. So click on the compass and search for collaborative tasks. 
you can go all the way and add it into your favorite app section as well just as what i have done here in this case drag and drop and maximize it for the better use and convenience you can see three sections which are to do work and complete it i can create a task as of now for a quick representation add an open add a particular description of my choice i'm adding the description hey designer create a new cover for vf2 uh, so vf2 is a type of hood which i have done last week in my design so once you add a description of your choice you can see there is a list of priorities below you so pri priority means the type of urgency in which you want this project or precisely this task to be getting done so you can define your priority like low medium high or urgent here i will set it to high the maturity step to do and a specific planned start date and a due date before which the task should have been completed so we have maturity status based on status of work so currently it is to do as i mentioned and then we can also have the percentage of work if it's done i can add the estimated duration of the days and of course add a percentage or a quick tolerance number as well i can search for the attachments of the vf2 food and there it can be stored in the same repository which i have mentioned so i can go on to the next section where i can see um, i can add particular attachment like a repository where i have to store the data like the markups or the the vf2 food which i have now just now drag and drop so you can search a repository of my choice and then it will be storing all these things that save repository so i can go to the second section and add assignees so this assignees will be the people who are working my same team add a comment a quick comment of my choice so that he or she whenever opens that task be able to see the comment and be able to know what exactly have to be done so this was a quick way in which you can use collaborative task and you can save and delete that comment as well now the task has been created and has gone to the to do section so you can see when i log in from the other user's perspective or from who i have assigned that task so once he logs in into the platform he can see specifically a notification popping up when he clicks on that notification he can see there is a task been mentioned in the to do section he goes to the properties and he checks the description what exactly needs to be done the priorities the start and the due date he has the attachment with him and he can also see who many how many people have been assigned so he can also see a owner who is who has assigned him the task so he mentions hey let me know if you face any difficulties he gives a quick comment sure and he works on the particular task so once that task is done you can put drag simply drag and drop it and put it in the inbox state once it is completed he can drag and drop and mention it in a completed state as well so this was the basics of working with collaborative task now let's see how you can organize prepare and basically manage your content on the 3d experience platform hey bookmark editor this is one of the major organizing tool which we have on the 3d experience platform and i have been using it since quite a while now i know we use bookmarks on a chrome browser don't we so why do we use bookmarks basically to organize the most important links the most important content so that we can have a quick access to it later when we need it the most right similar to that we use bookmark editor to organize manage cad and of course your non cad data focused on the 3d experience platform for a specific business needs here we have a kind of a folder subfolder and task like structure where we can bookmark it uh, in our workspaces which is a little different from the windows folder structure but yes it serves and justifies the purpose as well you can subscribe to the bookmarks to be get notified for any specific events or uh, like a revision or the maturity state of a physical product which is present inside the bookmark and things like uh, a route has been assigned a task has been assigned to you stuff like that you can perform a uh, life cycle management kind of actions as well inside the bookmark editor and you can specifically have a lot of options inside bookmarks 
uh, the details of which we will be covering in five or ten minutes later. So when I say about the life cycle things, life cycle management actions, where do we do those things precisely? So we have nothing but collaborative life cycle tool. Now, this is one such tool which is present inside the platform to manage object ownership, access, and edibility rights as well. So here we can collaboratively manage the life cycle of any object from creation to deletion. Uh, whatever you create, its maturity status is it in work. Once you complete the work, you can change the maturity status to frozen. That means the file is in review or on hold for manufacturing. Once the product is ready for production, the file is sent to release state. You can create a number of divisions and duplications of any file, or and each division and duplicate will be maintained in the database with the same physical product name. So with the help of collaborative lifecycle tool, we can manage the ownership, access rights of the products, compare the structure, delete the product file uh, from the cloud too. So this is like a one stop one shop stop for you to do all these activities. Uh, a good tool is to create issues when it comes to engineering change management to have the issue 3D review uh, another tool inside the 3D experience platform. But on top of that, we have issue management. So uh, whether it add, like, let's, let me ask you a question. Now, I'd like to know how do you address your issues and resolve it? So here inside the 3D experience platform, we have the advanced version of issue management which help you to report, track, and resolve the issue. You can create new issues from scratch or from a template associated with issues, filter it out based on date, assigning owner type, etc. So one such application which is present inside the platform to manage your ECN process respectively. Then comes the change execution. Uh, the last subtopic which I have with me and one of the key tool inside the 3D experience platform, which I have used a lot over a while. And uh, since we do a lot of testing and virtual simulation inside your product data and inside a new product development phase, new revisions or uh, design revisions are inevitable, we believe. So we found out that there is some changes which needs to be done inside the product to perform well. And issues and changes might come in between at the start or even at the end of the product development. So here we have a change action role which plays a major role to keep a track on the implementation of changes, whether it's done or not. Within change action, you need to define the required changes, the severity, assignments, approvals, start and the due dates. We can also use Trout for change actions or change action approval. While we are working on the change, we need to start work under. That's the similar kind of icon, the work under cap which you have inside your 3D experience SolidWorks, the collaborative designer for SolidWorks environment, which uh, happens to be a kind of a repository where you can pick, plug the change actions so that we can approve, realize changes associated to a change action as well. So this was all about the basics of the 3D experience platform and the getting started things, some important tools which I recommend, which are very important for the users which are now going to onboard on the 3D experience platform. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the training and learning content as a giveaway. There's a lot of training and learning available on the 3D experience platform, like uh, the basic platform, 3D experience platform onboarding the basics of the admin and the first step of the member and native app installation. So you can scan the QR code which is there on front of your screen, which will redirect you to a link that will take to the 3ds.com website where all this content will be available to you. Then you also have the EDU space. Once you get an access to the 3D experience platform, let's say through Akruti, you can have an access to 3D experience EDU space as well, where you can have the training and the learning material with you, wherein you can learn the basics of the collaborative business innovator, which is now called as the 3D swimmer role, the collaborative industry innovator, and the 3D experience SolidWorks tools as well. So this then comes to the 3D experience works getting started guideline, a very important uh, guideline which is there on our 
a public community which is uh, available in the form of a document which we have created and this document is getting up to date time to time from the uh, in the inside the community so uh, this is kind of a public community that is solidworks news and info i can uh, maybe after the end of the session have uh, a showcase of that community so you can go and quickly check it out as well so what you can do is i will just uh, reshare my screen to the platform so this is your 3d experience platform can you see my screen yes it is visible yeah, yeah. What you can do is click on the help section there. Go to user communities. Inside 3D modeling, hover all the way down to SolidWorks section. Now this will redirect you to the list of public communities or the public cloud. And basically, if you know SolidWorks user forums, also with migrated to 3D experience platform. These are all the list of public communities which are available for everyone. So I want you to go to SolidWorks news and info. Once you are on this community, you can basically filter it on the basis of WikiTree. So you'll be having a lot of WikiTrees out there. I want to go, I'll just enlarge it. Just go to getting support or the 3D experience works resources. You can find here the 3D experience works getting started guideline. And you can see the basics of getting started. Admin path, the member path, and you can see the self-explanatory content is present here. So what is a 3D experience platform? What is the role? What are dashboards? So you have all the list of content which are available free. So you can have a look at them and get their train. So you can be very well using the Express platform. With that said, I would like to sum up this webinar for a Q&A section. You have the chat section open with you. Drop in all your questions and queries, and I would be happy to answer them one by one. So I hope everyone would have uh, understood what actually the 3D experience platform would be. Like uh, Nikhil has presented a wonderful session for us to help you with the onboarding session of the 3D experience platform. And I know it should be it would be difficult for you to understand in the beginning because the terms which we use are more technical, uh, and uh, it has special meaning when it comes to a new experience platform. I too had the same problem when I was starting to learn and how to use the dashboard, get used with the dashboard. So what I have thought and uh, most of them will be feel the same. So we can organize a 3D experience platform interaction session. And uh, you can see that uh, this is a basic version of how the 3D experience platform works. And uh, in accuracy, you will be using specifically the 3D experience SolidWorks connected. So it is the only software you will be using and uh, along with the supporting part you will be accessing the collaborative task and a 3d swimmer role and uh, many other roles for you so we can also have a session for that too so you can get used to that uh, that's uh, that apps too right so it is a basic introduction session for you and if you have any questions you can ask uh, before that i have seen a person who asking us about uh, the doubt regarding the accuracy. So he has completed a diploma in mechanical last year, but he wants to join accuracy. So Nikhil, can you, uh, if it is possible, can you answer this question? Uh, maybe you can highlight this question in tomorrow's session, wherein Yash can give you more clarity about it. Okay. 
so please feel free to ask any questions regarding the akruti competition since yash and his team is managing akruti directly yeah. he will be you know answering all your queries and doubts and also giving you some more stuff briefing content about akruti and also some tips and tricks for your way to this competition as well yes i have shared you the meeting links to, uh, for the tomorrow's meeting link so here you can join with the uh, organizers of the akruti event itself so they will be sorting out everything we have up to may 31 as the registration time so don't worry you can also join there and uh, ask your queries and most of the people have some of the queries like uh, how we can choose the mentor and uh, if if a person from industry we can also choose the mentor from them you can also sort out these questions here and also i will be share i will also share the uh, whatsapp group link again so you won't miss out any of the future events from our community so do you have any other questions regarding the three experience platform i hope everyone has uh, doesn't have any question and uh, it is a free uh, to create a, a login id there okay so to access some of the communities and dashboards it will be requiring the access but when you when it comes to the uh, basic of uh, like the tips and tricks and uh, the news latest news about the solidworks and uh, like we have many other uh, apps available from the solid system is like uh, simulia and uh, there are many other apps so i will also share my screen if possible let me share my screen so So this is my screen and uh, it's loading now. So, so this is the dashboard uh, in which you can see right so there are many communities like catia user community like uh, it is loading now so same only user community so you can ask your questions here and uh, you can sort out your queries here too and there are many other apps like um tell me up so it is for a programming site so we can program the robot and automation setup like that yes uh, this is the uh, these are free, uh, free communities every, uh, accessible for everyone as a beginner okay so when it comes to akruti we have specific uh, dashboard for that no uh, creo is a separate software and it doesn't comes under the the uh, solid system is jayakas do you have any other questions it is completely uh, these dashboard are accessible only um, by the solid system the applications which the solid system is offer are here okay so see for example in the solid user forum you can see someone has a, a asked about a question about the process about uh, soldox championship and uh, see there are many other questions and can also be solved by you so if you know the answer for the question see some of them have answered like what is the part appearance description in the bym table for developments okay so this is how it will be and this is the specific roles 
since this dashboard is a free version, so I can't access the uh, other apps. So if I have registered for Akruti, so now I can access the roles which are assigned for me, right? So you can see it here, see. So these are the roles which are assigned for me, 3D designer, 3D swimmer, collaborative 3D engineer, collaborative industry. These are the parts which Nikhil has taught you. So how this will be and how we can use it. So see, they are my, these are my favorite apps uh, in which the 3D designer, we have these apps for me. So the X design is an app which we can use as a uh, similar to SolidWorks, but it has different interface and we will be using completely in the browser. So that is what different from the native SolidWorks and uh, uh, cloud version. So in cloud version, you can also collaborate with the browser and you can store the data and everything, right? Okay, do you have any other questions? Okay, I hope uh, everyone had uh, had understood the session and uh, you can also uh, ask your query in the group too. If you have some more queries, you can ask it, right? So don't feel shy to ask your queries and uh, is the crowd version free? No, you need to pay some amount for that. Uh, Nikhil has, uh, Nikhil will answer for that. So they're asking like, uh, is the crowd version free? So, uh... In your respective country or in your respective locations, we have the 3D experience SolidWorks for makers offer, which will be precisely a kind of an incentive or kind of a program which SolidWorks has started for all the makers and hobbyists, which, uh, wherein you will be charged a very minimal amount as compared to the commercial SolidWorks software. And you can have an access to the 3D experience SolidWorks on cloud roles as well. Uh, hope this has cleared your query. So the makers option uh, version is available to some of the countries and uh, for the remaining countries, they are working on that and we will receive soon. Okay. So any other queries? And don't forget to join tomorrow's session and you can get clear with your queries about authority. We can also have a session for a 3D experience all those connected. So, because you will be using uh, that software in the accuracy. So the beginners would have uh, find it difficult to work with that software. So we can have that as a single session and we can also plan a separate session for the um, like winners, how they had experienced the accuracy event. So they will be explaining you what will be the procedure and they have tackled the finale, right? So they can explain you the tips and tricks for you too. Yes, uh, I hope everyone has uh, understood the session. And thank you so much, Nikhil Bro, for joining us today. So he has also been a leader like this, so hosting many events. And he has come to the position like this, uh, working as a Mystery process content at at the salt system itself. And she's she's also a 3D experience champion and uh, she's also working there too. Yes, thank you so much, bro. Thank, thank you, you for joining us today. For having me here. Yeah. Yeah. So with this picture, I would like to wrap up this session. If you have any other queries, feel free to reach out to me on nickel.nigrade.com. And I will be happy to help you and answer all your queries. With that said, you were a really wonderful audience. Thank you for lending me your ears. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow.